Connecticut's Amistad ship could be headed for dry dock. There are millions in unpaid bills, and that could scuttle the floating classroom, which teaches about slavery. It was built about 14 years ago. Chief Capital Correspondent Mark Davis has the latest on the Amistad saga. Hi, Mark. Hi, Ann. Good evening, everyone from the Hartford Newsroom. The Amistad slave ship recreation is safely docked for the winter at Mystic Seaport. But next spring, the ship could encounter some very, very rough financial waters. The picture of just how quickly the freedom schooner Amistad is sinking in a sea of red ink emerged today in court. The receiver appointed to sort out the tangled finances of the state flagship says the debts are well in excess of $2 million, a figure the judge in the case described as eye-popping. 4,200 people took deck tours of the Amistad this year, and about 500 took the three-hour sail from New Haven to New London. But that was never intended to be enough cash flow to sustain the floating museum and classroom that represents a pivotal place in the history of slavery in the United States. Receiver Catherine Sachs told me today that there is enough money to keep the ship in safe harbor at Mystic for the winter, but that it will take about a million dollars in state money to keep it afloat next season, a figure she arrived at in consultation with Tall Ships America that gave her the average yearly costs. That ranged between about 1.2 and 1.4 million for a wooden tall ship of roughly this size. With the governor just announcing budget cuts to help keep the ship of state afloat, the Amistad could turn out to be a very low priority in next year's budget, which could result in the ship going into semi-permanent dry dock. And that $1 million does not address the debt, which is expected to rise as more unpaid bills start to pile up and because one of the creditors is the IRS for non-payment of withholding taxes for employees. A sale to another foundation could take a very long time. I think the question is going to be generally whether the state is able to allocate in these tough times uh, money to support the vessel. Now another problem, the dockage at Long Wharf there in New Haven is too shallow at low tide. Uh, the ship, I guess, draws about ten and a half feet, but unfortunately the bottom comes up at low tide, as you know, and so the keel is, uh, was hitting the bottom uh, at low tide twice a day. Uh, there is a deeper place at uh, New London Pier, uh, but it costs money over there, and they're not paying any rent at New Haven, so it's got a lot of problems. Live from the Hartford Newsroom, Mark Davis, News 8.